Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a general love reading for anybody who's watching. Please remember to take what resonates and don't manifest the rest. If it doesn't belong, don't make it fit. All right. So to start out the reading, we have a King of Cups and the Ten of Cups. So what I see here, somebody's coming in with an offer. Could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody's putting down the wands. I feel like after a long period of time, somebody has finally come to the conclusion that they have to make this offer. This is the Nightmare Before Christmas deck. I usually use these around Halloween. I, uh, I had to go buy another deck because I left mine in Ohio. But I hope you enjoy these. The King of Cups, the Ten of Cups is where somebody is right now because somebody put down burdens in order to come and make this Page of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, this decision to make an offer. What is the challenge here, Spirit? What is the challenge? death card okay so unfortunately I do feel like this is Five of Cups. All right. Guys, I'm sorry, but this, this reading feels like... It feels like a wish coming true, but it comes at the expense of something else. Scorpio Energy. Mars is in Scorpio. I feel like whoever this person is, they are offering their cup, which is the Ace of Cups, to the Queen of Swords, which may have cut them out already. Um, Queen of Swords likes to stick to the facts. But I, I feel like whatever this a love offer is, it is falling on deaf ears. It's like somebody feels like they don't have a choice but to make this offer. And I, and I don't agree. You always have a choice on whether to make a love offer. And don't do it from a place of need. Do it from a place of desire and want. Okay, so we have the Emperor or the Divine Masculine here. With a message... Of the four of swords which is to heal so it's like it's like this divine masculine has went through some kind of proverbial death and is now healing and wants to send a message to somebody who might have already cut them off what is in the immediate future here spirit what is the immediate future So I have Scorpio and Aries on the board. Yep, I knew it. Okay, so this is the Temperance card, and it is to its balance. It is the pouring from one cup into the other in the traditional tarot. Um, in this tarot, it's almost like somebody is mixing some kind of potion here. And I, I, I do feel like maybe this might be some kind of uh, manipulation or spell work. Because this is giving the, the Divine Feminine what she wants. Which is the sun. But I think it, it's coming at a price.
Whoever, whoever you are, Divine Feminine, make sure that you know you're making a right choice and it's not coming from a place of no choice. You know, I mean, like I said, I feel like this person has no choice but to come forward to the Divine Feminine. And this is Aries, Sagittarius, and Scorpio on the board. You always have a choice. And I don't think any empress is going to settle for this kind of manipulation, but I could be wrong. The factors affecting the situation is the sun. Could be everything that you ever wanted. But it's coming at the expense of someone. Or something. We have the hanged man and the judgment. So judgment day is here. For whoever this person is. Could be a Leo. Could be a Pisces. Sagittarius and Scorpio. And Aries. So this could definitely be some kind of a. It's like, like I said. I feel like there's a world card here. A knight of wands. Somebody feels like they don't have a choice here. But to give in to whatever this manipulation is, and it could be like the twin flamey thingy. I don't believe in that, guys. You, you guys know me by now. Um, that has all been weaponized and utilized for... Not the greater good, but, but to make people codependent on others' feelings about themselves. And self-empowerment, in my opinion, is the best way to go. Whether or not, I mean, you love somebody or not. I mean, if they don't treat you right, they don't treat you right. So yeah, there's an offer of marriage here. <laughs> but as I said, it's the magician and the fool. So... Whoever you are, you manifested this. And it could be a good thing. I mean, I don't know. You know, it's all dependent on your own situation. But I feel like there is some kind of potion or some kind of a... There's some kind of alchemy to this. It's like in order for somebody to get what they want, they're going to alchemize this situation with their divine counterpart. In order to have a new contract. So we did have judgment. Now we have the Hierophant and the lovers. Whoever this person is, they're going directly to their divine counterpart to have a new beginning. To have, you know, but it's done through the magician, which is alchemizing. Now, what I do feel, this is Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Gemini, and Aries again. Somebody, somebody is definitely alchemizing a situation. And it's almost to suit their needs. They, it's like they, they've got this other person. Maybe this other person is, you know, I don't know. You know, maybe this other person is, is, I hate to even say that, but checking out. And maybe this other person says, well, you know, you go be happy. And so this divine masculine is going towards the divine feminine due to a loss of another person that they care about. I don't know what the status is. I'm not even going to say what the status is with that other person because, you know, each individual is going to be different. Okay, hopes and fears. If somebody is hoping... to work with the Queen of Wands here... And a couple love being offered. But this is this is something that's hidden behind the moon. So you got the Ace of Cups, the moon, 
the Virgo Hermit energy. Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. So I do feel like this Hermit, whoever they might be, is hoping that the Queen of Wands will work with them. I think this is like a collaboration of some kind with the Virgo, Eight of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands. And and this, this person is in love with, I, I do feel like in love with the Divine Feminine. They've just gone through some kind of proverbial ending. And they're hoping that the Queen of Wands accepts their offer. But I don't think this Queen of Wands sees this coming. I think this this Queen of Wands doesn't even know about the manipulation or the um, the magic that's being done in the background here. What is the final outcome, Spirit? What is the final outcome? So I, I, I'm getting a creepiness here. I, not just because of the cards. I mean, cards are kind of creepy. Uh, but because I'm getting a creeper energy. Like, like somebody is watching this empress, this queen of wands, from behind the scenes. Look. And reaching their arm a little further than it needs to go. I mean, like... like spying and, and, and watching and what's that what's that the witches say boil oil and trouble or whatever <laughs> that shows you how much I know um I mean I manifest I don't don't practice that kind of stuff but I feel like somebody put a spell on you somebody's trying to put a spell on a divine feminine and, and even though it might not be exactly, could be a cancer, um, it might not be exactly what they want. They're still manipulating this person and trying to make them believe that that's what they want. I feel telepathy going on here. I don't know why I'm getting that, guys. But I feel like telepathy is going on here. Like this person, even though they're behind the scenes... They may be communicating in some kind of form like music or or in the energy and making your nose itch all the time. They could be on my camera, you know, for all I know. But I do feel like this person is using some kind of tactic in the magician energy. Because they're obsessed. Come on, man. Can't you just love somebody without all this manipulation and all this bullshit? Yeah. This empress is sitting here heartbroken. Confused. About this offer of love. Possibly from a Leo. And they're, they're going to tell this person to wait. They're going to tell this person that they're going to have to wait. Heal your demons. Whoever you are. That is coming towards. What I feel like is a. Is a uh, authentic genuine person stop it stop manipulating just because somebody is sad and confused doesn't give you any right to come in and, and you know I mean like I said this king of cups is ready to give this empress anything they want Anything they want. Because they have experienced an ending in their life. Not because they just they just want to make it, you know, they're just in love and they want to make things happen. But because they're a master manipulator. And they're obsessed with the Empress energy. And to me, 
That is not love. That is a manipulation of the matrix. But you take it how you want it, and some people are okay with settling for that. I don't see this. I, I don't see this empress taking it. I see her having the strength to wait to for somebody to show who they really are. Because she has a knowing that maybe this person is doing some kind of you know spell work. Fuckery. And here comes the message. So you might be dealing with this person right now. Somebody who is so somebody who is very confused here. With the with the two of swords. And I don't think that's you, viewer. I think that's this other person. It's like this other person just got a tower. They're trying to balance out the tower. Trying to be fair to the Empress. And I feel like they they don't know what they're doing. They think they think this is justice to the Queen of Cups that they left out in the cold. And now there's an offer of marriage. No more old stuff here. We ain't we ain't playing with you. If you ain't coming right, don't don't bother. Empress ain't playing with you. Man. Bread crumber action. And I do feel like this is somebody who's trying to get the Empress to give up her power, which means, which means, like I said, okay, this is how I explained it in, in, um, a reading I did last night for someone, or yesterday. I got my days and nights mixed up because I've been sleeping during the day and working at night because nights are brutal in my dream time. And... Like I said, tricky, tricky, tricky. I, I'm, I'm getting to the bottom of this one way or another. Breadcrumbing and messing with the Empress's mind. You see this card right here? It, it, this is, this is uh, Gregory Scott's deck. Gregory Scott Tarot. And in this case... This is this is the sh having strength over those bobbed wire in the mind to see this for what it really is, which is a temptation, uh, the Knight of Pentacles and the and the Page of Wands, the little stick is what I call it. Uh, this person is making an offer, but is is it real? Or is it Memorex? I mean, it, please, whoever you are out there, Empress Energy, see this for what it is. Don't just take it at face value like, oh, oh my God, it's finally happening. Oh. It's because they don't have a choice. There's an ending taking place in their life with the death card here. It's because they don't have any choice. They're about to lose something. And to try to keep themselves from losing it, or they're going to lose it anyway, they're rushing in very recklessly to win over the Queen of Wands. What did I say earlier? Somebody who is in the public eye Somebody who is very attractive. Somebody who goes after what they want. And this person here going through an ending is acting very recklessly at this time. They're they're I mean they're gonna rush in. And and this is this is, this part is 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 like good, I guess, for the Empress, you know. I mean, if you're if you're on that trajectory, this okay. So they're gonna leave somebody else out in the cold to come towards you, viewer, because they find you very very attractive. Could be a Taurus. 
Somebody's going to leave somebody else out in the cold to come towards you for a brand new beginning. But they have to end the other thing first. They don't have any choice. What is the... What is the immediate future here? I don't think they're sure about how they're going to come in. I think they're they're trying to balance something out here, but they feel like they have to like manipulate in order for them to be able to come towards you. Six of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. Change your mind. This is this this person's trying to change your mind. about them well what they just did to this other person should give you a heads up of what might be coming for you if they so choose it because this person is very fickled very fickled about their feelings and, and, and you know I, I like I said last night I said something about the Empress now the Empress bows to no one she don't she's you know, I bow to no one. The emperor, however, or the counterpart to the empress, only bows to the empress. He's the protector, he's the helper, and he's all of that. But this is something that may have been done in the past to the empress, who was in love with this emperor. And, and this emperor is going to have to get around it. They ain't going to be able to come in the Knight of Pentacles energy. They're going to have to come 110%. And they don't even know how to do that. Don't even know how to do that because of what's been done in the past. They want they want to be able to balance things out and come rushing in. But they don't know how to do it. The obsession is real though. Gemini energy and the lovers... Magician and the devil. Like I said, this is a manipulation, temptation tactic to get the Empress to give them back her energy. As I said, the, the twin flame journey has been weaponized because this Emperor thrives on the Empress's energy. Instead of instead of using it and, and and being with the Empress to build uh to build something, to build a, a life, to build a this person is really super obsessed and I feel like they have a s they have a problem. And their problem is is they like too many chefs in the kitchen. They like to have their cake and eat it too. They want some 20 year old in there making them dinner while they go and get the Empress's energy, basically stealing it and not having to give up their superficial life in the meantime. And y'all are, you know, when, when, when you have divine counterparts, y'all are supposed to present something in this world. You're supposed to bring together it's like bringing two kingdoms together to create one kingdom for the greater good. This person wants their own kingdom and not have not to have to share with the empress, but they want the empress's energy so they can build their own kingdom. Is that not the most selfish thing you've heard all week? I mean, for real, whoever you are, you are a selfish mofo and you just need to leave this empress alone because the empress is not selfish. Whether you're an emperor or not, I think this is what they want. Oh, is there another card in there? No, maybe not. I think this is what they, they want emperor status. Okay, with the sun and the emperor here, they want that status. Because at this point, they're still just 
obsessed and a magician. They are not at emperor status yet. This is the factor affecting the situation. This is what they want. They want that title of emperor. You have to earn it. Just like the empress had to earn hers. You have to earn this title. And by manipulating and, and, and obsessing and ick. Look, I can't make it up. You have two offers here, viewer. You have one with the Nine of Pentacles and one with the Page of Pentacles. Which one is real and which one is Memorex? Because I do feel like there's a choice of two. For the Empress. One is a Ten of Cups and one is the Devil. Like I said, it's a King of Pentacles doing the manipulation. I got Aries energy, Capricorn energy. They just had an ending of some other kind of uh, given to too many people. They just they just had had some kind of ending. <clears throat> now they want to balance things out. Tower. This person, whoever they are, just experienced a, a huge tower in their life, and now they are obsessed with the empress. They want that emperor status. And they're not going to get it without the empress. You, you, uh, uh, uh. If you a page, you a page. If you are mature, you are mature. That is not emperor energy. But that's what they want. This person either ghosted another person to come towards you. Or they ghosted you to go towards another person. Regardless of the fact... They're, this 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 person thinks that they're going to be able to manipulate the situation to suit their needs and become that emperor from the magician. Masculine is trying to heal. Spirit just gave them the download. Probably through this new moon in Libra. Can be a Libra. Okay, with with justice and Libra and Pisces here as the moon, I feel like this just happened in on the new moon in Libra on the 14th. This person got a serious download, and it scares the crap out of them because I don't know if they're willing to step up to Emperor Energy or not. They were they were given a download. That's exactly what they are. But they have to earn it. Spirit says you gotta earn it. You can't just say, Ta-da! I'm an emperor because I, 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 I'm, I'm rich. I live my own life. And I'm single from this. Whatever this might have been. So now I'm the magician and I can make anything happen I want to. Because I got a lot of money. Baby, that's that's just surface level. Whoever you are, that that's just surface level bullshit. And you are not going to be able to pull the wool over this person's eyes. Okay, look at this. I didn't even see this earlier. This is this person is stalking you. With the, that's the page of swords and the magician. This person is stalking you. Like, it could be even online, or or maybe they got, like, a bug in your, in your apartment, or, or something like that, trying to figure out what it is you want. So they can come in and save the day. Like I said, this could be somebody who's really, really tech savvy with that page of swords here. This could be a technical genius that has got your camera tagged, your microphone tagged, whatever, on your phone, your computer, and they are stalking the hell out of you. This is very, very foolish, very, very uh, 
non-ethical behavior. You want to be an emperor? Go get you a book on ethics. Just everyday life ethics. Because you're doing this behind the scene. And you're trying, you're trying to figure out what this empress wants. What she needs. What she needs is an ethical partner. Somebody who's on the up and up. She doesn't need somebody to bullshit her. And, and try to make a fool out of her. Ain't nobody got time for that. Like I said, spirits... My, my hand's going numb. I got, I got problems with my left hand. Um, you're making me mad. And, and, and I, I wish I could read it some other way, but with all these swords on the board, I can't. I wish I could read this like, I'm coming to save the day, ha. Huh? But this person is sneaking around trying to... Trying to figure out what the Empress wants, what the Empress needs, what the Empress is. Because they're obsessed. I'm getting, I'm getting, somebody is following you around. And I, I know, and it's weird because I do feel like somebody is, is following the other one around. Like watching what they buy, watching what they do online what yeah it's creepy get a life you know if you got nothing better to do get a life whoever this person is that they were with they left out in the cold they don't know if you're gonna accept this queen of pentacles seven of pentacles two of pentacles they don't know if you're gonna accept this and if you accept this, it may leave you juggling financially. Because, like, if they're affecting all of your electronics and stuff like that, they can mess with your money. They can mess with your accounts. They can mess with anything they want. I can't make it up. This person wants to make you their partner or their significant other. They're losing money because they gave to too many people. And they see you as the Ten of Pentacles. Regardless if you're rich or not, this person sees, sees you as a fortune. As a, as, a, as a, you know, magically delicious. So here comes the, here comes the message. Like I said, they've been watching you. And they've been watching you for a long time. Because this is the outside influence. And they've been manipulating your energy. Whether that's for the good or not for the good. Because there, there's somebody here got left out in the cold. Over this. And I don't feel like this is old. I feel like this is somebody new. But it's somebody that's been watching you. For a long time. This is some kind of energy that's been watching you for a long time. Could be since Aries season, which would have been around April. <sighs> Aries or Gemini. Taurus. Aries. It goes Aries, Taurus, Gemini. So, I feel like around that time, this person started watching you. This person started... Getting in your energy. And like I said, maybe they know somebody. Maybe they know some stuff. Maybe they're very tech savvy. So, I did have the magician there. And this person may be going through a breakup, like I said. 
They may be going through a breakup of letting someone else go, which could be a Queen of Pentacles. To go towards their wish fulfillment, which is to build an empire with the Empress. But there's there's magic afoot here. There's there's somebody who's a very big manipulator. Now, whether or not the Empress wants to take this is going to be on each and every individual. Ten of Wands, Judgment. Dropping the Wands to come towards you. To bring something back from the dead. If that's only your lost love. Which means that maybe love confuses you at this point and And you work on it. Maybe you're agreeing to to work on it. <clears throat> but I don't see you giving... Excuse me. I don't see you giving this person, you know, um, like free reign over your life or free reign in your energy. I feel like you're still a bit confused about what you want out of a relationship, whoever I'm talking to. And maybe this is something you need to put down as well is your judgment of the situation if you want to manifest something a little better than what you've had which is the ten of cups and the eight of wands having a real rough time with this reading guys because in my opinion you know Maybe they left somebody for you, but they're a manipulator. They're looking at you from behind the scenes, trying to figure out what you want so they can come give you justice. But they're still confused. They're confused about how to fix this. How to fix your broken heart. Like I said, male or female, I feel like this person wants their cake and eat it too. Like I said, they want to have some young hot thing in the kitchen while they go towards an empress who, who's who got their shit together. Mm, you could be some young hot empress. I don't know. But I feel like there's two people and this emperor wants to keep both of them. They've ended something, some kind of a, a contract or relationship from somebody else, or it was ended for them. And maybe they were left out in the cold by somebody they love. So now they're confused, but they're still coming in. They still don't know what they want, but they're still coming in. And they're scared to death. Empress, don't rush this. Wait for this person to show you who they truly are. There's Leo energy with the strength card. And the three of wands. Wait for this person to reveal their true intentions. Because right now it's kind of smoke and mirrors. Wheel of fortune. The truth. Here it comes. The truth. Ten of Pentacles and the Emperor with the High Priestess who might be stuck in love with the King of Pentacles. Okay? So like I said, whoever this person is, they definitely see the truth about who you are, that you are the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Pentacles, which is ultimately the empire that the empress and the emperor are supposed to build now whether or not you build with this person because like i said i do feel like they're a creeper they've been watching you for a long time like i said they could even be spying on your camera and your and your phone and 
listening to your conversations and watching what you buy. Kind of twisted, actually. They're very tech savvy. They know what the hell they're doing. And if they don't, they've got some, they've hired somebody else to do it. So, you may be the one confused and heartbroken by the end of this reading. And they're going to come in and, ta-da, save the day. Because their intuition's telling them. They, they're getting the downloads. Magic is happening on, on in their life. And like I said, maybe you need to put down the burdens of how you look at love or how, how you feel at this time. But make them wait. You're about to come into some kind of money or some kind of a fortune. And you will be of equal or greater value to this emperor. If you're not the emperor themselves. If you're not already. I mean some people are. Some people are ready for this union. And this does not look like somebody's ready for this union. This looks like somebody is still very confused about where they're going. They just understand that another person is their empress or emperor. And they know that that's what they have to do to come to build with this other person. And again, that song, Promises in the Dark, uh, by Pat Benatar. Well, promises, you know what they're for. They sound so convincing, but you've heard them before. And talk is cheap, and you're gonna be shunned. And so you put up your guard. And your heart, try to be hard, but your heart says, try again. But wait. Stay balanced in the temperance energy. And make sure you see this person for who they truly are before you sign any contracts or make any lifelong agree agreements. Alright? Because it... It feels like somebody wants to be fair here, but I ain't got a whole lot of cups. I mean, it starts out with the King of Cups and the and the uh, Ten of Cups. It's like a wish come true, or at least that's what somebody's portraying here. But with the Magician as the outside influence twice, and the Page of Swords, like I said, this, this is somebody who who watches. I'm getting the watch. Whew. Man. Creepy. I'm getting the watcher. So they're coming towards you. Whoever you are. But we have the Magician twice, the Page of Swords, the Fool, and them letting go of a, of a Queen of Pentacles to come towards you. Four of Cups to the Queen of Pentacles to manifest you. And I'm getting Watcher, watcher vibes. And promises in the dark vibes. Because this person knows that you're going to come into some kind of a wealth. And they want to share it with you. They want to share their wealth with you. And they want you to share your wealth with them. I think their wealth may be dwindling due to their um, non-ethical practices in the past. And whoever you are, viewer, please make sure you see the true intentions of this person before you make any kind of agreements or sign any paperwork. Wow, what a reading. Let's see what's going on here. Let me get some kippers. Boy, this is giving me really eerie vibes. 
Yeah. So there's something changing here. 199. Damn. Yeah, buddy. So I got the coffin concern. Like I said, there's something happening here. And this person's present. That's making their, them change their mind about their trajectory. Now they're going on a new journey. But there are family secrets here that need to be addressed. I got number 33. 199. There's going to be a change. A big fat change in this person's energy. But they have secrets. Maybe they're hiding their wealth from you. Maybe you don't know. 3311. Maybe you don't know. 199. Maybe this person has made themselves seem like they're just an average Joe. And they're not. This person, and I'm getting kind of royal vibes here, like like maybe they're even like some kind of royalty or some kind of politician or something like, like I said, this person has use of like CCTV type shit where they can watch and like see your face and watch your shopping, watch, yeah, this is, this is weird. So viewer, whoever you are, wait to find out all this person's secrets before you jump into any kind of contract. Will it make you money? Will you uh, become very wealthy by being with this person? Well, yeah, they've got all the money in the world, but understand that if you're with this person, they will watch you like a hawk. Like, they'll put cameras in your house without you knowing. That's, that's what kind of person this is. Because they're so scared of somebody taking something from them or doing something to them. They're a very confused soul. And maybe that's why whatever this ending happened, happened. Because they were watching this Queen of Cups. And maybe this Queen of Cups stole something from them. And now they're coming towards you as their perfect match, as somebody who is of equal or greater value, thinking that they can do the same thing to you that they did to this Queen of Cups. And this Queen of Cups probably said, oh, hell no, when they found out the truth. Make sure you find out the truth before you sign anything. Because there might be an underlying um, exchange here that you don't know about. Like I said, there's some kind of thing going on here. This person does want to give you what they, what you want. But find out why. Alright? Find the why. There's always some kind of underlying motive. Because this person, this person put down somebody they loved. Ah. And this is what they want to get you to do. Chase, they're in a codependent relationship, relationship of abandonment issues. So... They want to get you hooked so they can pull your energy in and then leave you or, or, or leave you out in the cold so they can take your energy with them and get you hooked and keep you from ascending. Somebody's about to get super betrayed. Because somebody wants to stop. I, I don't feel... I wish I could say that this is all going to be beautiful and hunky-dory and nobody's doing any game playing. I wish I could say that. But I'm not feeling that, guys. Will it make you a lot of money? Yes, it will make you a lot of money. It will allow you to boss up in your life. But you have a lot of options here. And one of these people just wants to get you hooked on their energy so they can basically give you the silent treatment 
that that means that the the intense passion and then the one night stand and then and then like ghost you. With those two cards together, just look at the pictures. Please look at the pictures. This is an energy vampire. They have to suck off of other people in order to keep themselves from expiring. So they come in, they make an offer that they're not really um, an offer of this to change your life and they're going to change it all right. They're going to change it all right, especially if you balance. Especially if you're sitting in your own power and you're balanced. This person is going to come in and try to change your life all right. Look at these cards. And I, and I just want you to look at the cards. Don't even worry about what they say. Okay, this was the first one. This was the second one. All right. Somebody is trying to stop your ascension to a higher understanding. Transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, and preparing for union. Preparing for union. Decisions and options in a one night stand. So they can get you hooked again. And then put you down. This is what I mean about the twin flame relationship being weaponized. Please see it for what it is. People are using this sh crap to get laid. Play a player. Once they cake and eat it too. Alright. And they're weaponizing this twin flame journey. In order to get what they want you know i got two one one there too two one 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 so look up those numbers before you take up any manipulations from this person and make sure like i said if you want this that's up to you you see it for what it is that's all i'm i'm saying see it for what it is not what you want it to be because if you if you if you stay in the two of swords while you're making this decision, it'll never come out in your favor. You have to see it from the ace of swords, which is crystal clarity. And I understand a lot of people are lonely out there. They want to believe the best in people. They want to have hope uh, that maybe you know stability and harmony and all that's going to come in their life. But it the work has to be done. The shadow self has to be addressed. Even if it's scary. I do see somebody getting recognized for being patient and suffering. Some kind of suffering. There is recognition and reward here. But I don't think whoever you are out there, you see it coming. And, and, and remember, there are underlying energies here that you need to pay attention to that are, that are going to be part of whatever this is. What is the Hidden Realms got to say about this? You know I like my Hidden Realms. I like to see what the other side's got to say. And this is your advice. Desert Prince in reverse. Somebody's tired of being patient. Spiral Dancer upright. Circuitous root and perception. So how you see this is going to make all the difference in the world. And it's up to you how to see it. I don't know. You know, like I said, I'm not you. I know how I would see this. 
it wouldn't work out well for whoever this person's coming towards me if that was the case. I don't allow that kind of uh, uh, access to me. But whoever this person is, they use the magic. They, they use the manipulation. And in my opinion, that is no way to come towards me. I will tell you to fuck off. Get it right. My perception is that with, with stabbed in the back, axe and coffin, yeah, I'm going to wait for you to show me your true colors before I let you in on my fortune or on my, you know, on my trajectory here, my journey, whether that be to sudden wealth or, you know, um, not, because there's, there's definitely some kind of suffering going on. And I do feel like that's suffering because you've been patient and you're lonely. Alright. So the spiral dancer moves with her own rhythm and steps to the music only she can hear. She takes you on a path that is winding and circular. She assures you that what you're experiencing as a setback is really part of an upward, upward spiral. Perception is everything. You're not retracing your steps or going backwards, but rather around and up. She says that you'll be comfort, you can be comforted knowing that your path is one of success, adventure, and experience. Follow her, for she dances along a magical way. If you're asking about a relationship, keep on dancing, and magic will, hap will soon happen. So this is magical. I'm not going to say it's not. But as the final outcome, it doesn't. It looks more like a magical manipulation of somebody being behind the scenes. Also, it's okay to allow someone else to take the lead at this time. Well, not if they're a hacker. I'm sorry, I answer, I answer spirit as I go along. My, my bad. Make sure to let others know that you're open. Always remember that relationships are mirrors. And will show you the past, the present, and the potential future. All relationships have a destiny. Each is a sacred teacher with a valuable lesson to share. Even if it appears that the two of you are dancing in different directions. All the steps are perfect, even when you may be stumbling. The spiral dancer is a reminder that destiny's path is seldom straight. And I'm going to read the Desert print, Prince in reverse because it seems to go along with this energy that I'm feeling about this emperor. or emperor. I, you know, it could be either one, female, male, because I do feel like the Empress, the Empress receives and bows to no one. The Emperor, like the Queen of England, and, and, and the Emperor only bows to the Queen or the Empress but can be very conniving and you know it's Aries energy that's going after something but not seeing the end results or, or going towards the end results as somebody who's fire 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 they start the fire and then they don't know if they can put it out or not 55 so I'm gonna read this to you it's in reverse 5-5 five, five tells me big changes are ahead. And, like I said, I don't feel like this person has any other choice. This is survival and false promises. Says the lady of... Oh, wrong one. My bad. My bad. There it is. Okay. Huh. And this is what I was saying through, what I was feeling through this whole reading. It says, don't be fooled by the beauty of the desert prince now, for you are being faced with a mirage. I called that one out. Sometimes you can't see the truth because your thirst for achievement and recognition may blind you to the true nature of your situation. Perhaps to... Circumstances prevent you from e being able to see with clarity that they are stalking you on your on your devices. <laughs> Sorry, like I said, I got, I answer these as I go along. 
Beware when faced with something that seems too perfect, miraculous, and easy. If you think it's too good to be true, it is. Pay attention to false promises at this time, and don't be swayed by shortcuts and flattery. The best way out of this is to accept that every life has a desert period. Just accept this for now, and cross it one step at a time. You will be led to greener pastures and fresh, clean water with divine appropriate timing. This is, it's not time for this. All this is going to do is going to get you fooled and end up, them end up being your energy vampire, regardless if they are emperor or empress or not. They are an energy vampire and they are coming to suck you dry. All right? If it seems too good to be true, it is. Guarantee it. All right? Those are your messages, my darlings. And I'm sorry, I'm wiggling everywhere here every time I touch the desk. Please remember to press the like button, subscribe, and share. And I will see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye for now.